In October 1968, Don Juan and Carlos went to visit the sorcerer Don Gennaro. After arriving in central Mexico, it took them two days of hiking to reach Gennaro's little shack perched on the side of a mountain. For two days they left at dawn, collecting plants. Don Juan and Gennaro left Carlos alone both days, which he didn't mind because of the exquisite feelings he got there. A timeless, extraordinary experience with an uncanny capacity to concentrate on the delicate task of finding the specific plants Don Juan had entrusted him to collect. The third day, however, was different. The three of us worked together, and Don Juan asked Don Gennaro to teach me how to select certain plants. We returned around noon, and the two old men sat for hours in front of the house, in complete silence, as if they were in a state of trance. Yet they were not asleep. I walked around them a couple times. Don Juan followed my movements with his eyes, as so did Don Gennaro. You must talk to the plants before you pick them, Don Juan said. He dropped his words casually and repeated his statement three times, as if to catch my attention. Nobody had said a word until he spoke. In order to see the plants, you must talk to them personally, he went on. You must get to know them individually. Then the plants can tell you anything you care to know about them. Yes, that's the way it is with plants, isn't it? Don Juan said and turned to Don Gennaro, who agreed with an affirmative gesture. I told him that the reason I had not followed his instructions was because I felt a little stupid talking to plants. You fail to understand that a sorcerer is not joking, he said severely. When a sorcerer attempts to see, he attempts to gain power.